Hello guys, and welcome to episode 5 of my Terrace Pole campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we are continuing our defense of the first turn versus the Soviets. They are coming at us very, very hard. Uh, they are now attacking the 1st Battalion of the 106th Infantry Regiment. They are using the 266th Regiment to attack and the 495th AT Regiment will likely reinforce. Uh, then they'll probably bring another unit in Phase B or C. So I've got to make sure that I try and wrap this up in Phase A if possible. Otherwise it's quite likely that I will end up getting overrun. I am very tempted to not actually bring in the 3rd Battalion of the 106th Infantry Regiment as I mentioned in the last episode but instead potentially use one of the recon air groups to give me the extra points I need in the battle to put everything down at the start. The only issue that I might encounter is if my units start to get like whittled down I won't have enough stuff to reinforce with which obviously would be a problem. But I think in, I'm willing to take the risk, mainly due to the fact that I don't want these guys to lose their dug-in status and then be forced to fight against a couple units here without defenses. Like, that would be probably a lot worse. So I'm going to take the 1st Battalion, of course, which is under attack, and then one of these. I just need to look at which one's better. I think... The Focke-Wulf 189s would probably be better. The Blenheims don't really have that much in the way of forward armament. The 32nd, I mean, these really don't either, but yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a choice between not like two not very good units. I think we'll tactical battle there, and we'll jump on in. Oh, okay. I think... They didn't bring in... Yeah, they didn't even bring in the in initial regiment, which means it's just going to be like AT stuff. It's quite... Yeah, okay. That's weird. Alright, well... I would normally say I'd be right back <laughs> with the defences down, but honestly... I'm just going to set them up quickly because I don't think I really need to spend too much time doing it. Uh, main reason being is that I'm probably just going to rush the spawn because they didn't actually bring in like a decent force anyway. So I'm just going to put these to face down the road so that we can transport snipers they come towards us initially. Although I'll probably be rushing them instead so... Just going to make sure that these are all down in relatively decent places. I kind of half remember from before. <laughs> Get one up here. But one more MG42 bunker. That's the only thing that's really important to put down. Uh, let's see. Putting something here is probably a good idea. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's just get some infantry down. And we will rush up to these spawns. So there's one here, or two there, and two there. So nothing crazy. Just got to get all my Grenfuhrer. My Grenadiers and Grenfuhrer down. And we'll just spread them out when we get close. I can also bring out like a couple of these Focke-Wulf 189s at the start as well. They will start a little bit in the middle, so I will probably need at least a couple units like in defense here. I'm just going to place down like a couple of grenadiers, like so, uh, with a grenfuhrer in there, a battery fuhrer on this side. All right, that should be enough. I am tempted to bring in the pioneers behind as well. Okay, let's uh, launch the battle. 
get the fuck off 189s out. And we will see what happens. I think it'll be pretty fast though. Our interesting recon aircraft there. They're pretty fast recon planes, to be honest. I gotta be a bit careful because if they unload before I do, then I'm gonna get wrecked. So we're gonna wanna like attack move one way and then the other. Same deal here, we're gonna wanna send these that way. And these over here. Grenfuhrer, follow those. Pioneers, follow those. Alright, great. Still a lot of stuff coming in there. I am going to probably just reinforce, just make sure I've got more and more infantry coming in. If I don't get this over with early on, then we could be in trouble, so I've really got to try and push the envelope here a little bit. Try and get as much of an advantage as quickly as possible. I've nearly captured that flag already. Uh, let's jump into these buildings. Okay, they've got us pinned down there. Uh, let's get those into that building. Have these start pushing across like so. I'll get my gunfire in here because we need to push to the left now. This road's captured, so we'll send these couple units in that direction. Those can stay here. Great, have we stopped that? Yeah, we have. Let's keep the push going. Keep the push going. We need to like close the ground onto the Dushka trucks. They can't engage us from out of range of our MGs. I think that might be a Dushka truck on the side though. Although that's easily the landspawn captured on that side. So we've only got to worry about the this side now. We have more reinforcements coming in here. Counter attack. Let's go. <laughs> May not be my turn yet, but I will counter attack. <laughs> oh, we actually captured a supply vehicle. Not that that's very helpful. You don't keep captured supply vehicles at the end of the battle, unfortunately. Otherwise, that'd be pretty cool. There we go. Total victory. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Easy peasy. Well, that was good then. That was actually really good that I didn't invest the unit that was dug in. Because if I had, we would have been in trouble. Let's see where they attack us now. Ah! The amphibious landing. It is the... 83rd Naval Infantry Brigade and the 255th Naval Infantry Brigade coming at us. They have Moskaya. They've got the Zis 3s, Maxims, loads of mortars, loads of Maxims, loads of AT guns just in general. We have one 133rd Infantry Battalion of the Romanians standing in the way. And these are Rakhtutsi. <laughs> Incredible. Alright. Um, 
I think it would be wise if I brought in maybe the leader unit here. Or one of the artillery units. The artillery might not be a bad shot, actually. Because they won't really be able to outrange my artillery. Unless they bring in an air force. If they bring in an air force, though, we're kind of screwed regardless. Do I get much AA in this unit? I don't. Uh, let's see. And these both come with like 220 mils, but that's not really anything worth worrying about. I think these 150s would be better to bring in than the command, although the command gives us extra infantry to work with in phase A, as well as some decent close range infantry actually. They don't actually have that good in close range infantry here. Oh, they do have some Moshkaya Sturm actually. And some Moskai separately in the um, command unit there. Mm. These are coming in in B for sure. Having more infantry reinforcement available is going to be super important. I just got to make sure that I've got enough. Yeah, I think with the Kalarashi and the ZBs, we should be okay. So let's bring in some artillery. We'll tactical battle, they bring in an aircraft, and we'll jump on in. So this is going to be rough. I might not use my artillery. They are bringing in two air units, is that? Or just one? Just one. Alright. That's actually not so bad. There's only one infantry unit, and then the naval fighter regiment. Alright, I'm going to take some time for this one, get my defenses down. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. My defenses are all set up, so let's quickly go through them. Got a good mix of Rekrutze, Karashe, and also Infanterist. I don't think there's many infantry on the left-hand side here, uh, but I've got some ZBs which are going to be sitting in these buildings on the edge. We've got some leaders that are either in trenches or in buildings, and then I've got the bunkers down as well, like MG42 on the right here in the light cover, same with the uh, Pac-50, and then I've also got the Pac-37 over here that's going to be covering the road at close range. Further to the right, we've got the commander with the two Kalarashi and the uh, pack 75 that's just going to be shooting all the way up the road there then here i made like a this cool little trench setup <laughs> as you can see uh just was messing around with this so yeah thought i'd made it look cool but uh just some recruits in there with some karashi and an infant uh infantry leader and then we got the mg42 on the left side this is going to be a little bit dodge to defend just because there's so many could see there it might actually be worth me switching one of those out for an infantry just so we have a bit more of a substance uh, because the only other unit otherwise that can hold the front line is the leader um and when all the recruits here run away the leader's just going to get killed so i might as well have the infantry there pack 37 here barbed wire on the left of it with the uh, the zb and infantry kalarashi i could say this is a another bit bit of a dodgy area but there's no direct reinforcement road that comes straight to this area so i'm hoping this won't come under that much pressure uh this hill uh is defended i'm trying to hold the objective further up 37 on the road there mg42 a bit further back with the kalarashi and on the right hand side we're a bit thin on infantry uh but i'm going to basically try and concentrate my efforts on the right hand side after the start because I want to try and get some infantry up onto this hill to capture this flag but we'll see how it goes it really does depend obviously where they also concentrate so see what happens also you know making sure that I'm aware of these airstrikes is going to be pretty important I'm probably going to invest in oh they have P40s that's not good that's really not good. Those are going to do a lot of damage over time. 
I'm going to get both my 20 mils in here on the left ASAP. I don't think they're really going to do too much, but might be able to stop like strafing runs and so on. That's going to where they're going to start concentrating then. I have to work from that. They do have some infantry here initially. I haven't really been pushed that hard. It looks like they're kind of just chilling. Getting some arty down. Maybe when they start breaking down my bunkers, they'll do something. Not sure. I have to bring them both in on the same side. Otherwise, uh, they will be kind of pointless. Bring in a leader with that as well, make the three star vet. Alright, the MG42 is far and away. I'm actually going to bring in a uh, Motometralliera there. Mainly because uh, I will outrange most of their units. Uh, all of their units don't really have machine guns like these Muskaya, they just have rifles. So, if I can get like these recon bikes into position uh, like sooner than later, then I can actually do something with them. Rather than like relying on them later on, which is something that I've done in the past. Now here, I should probably just move the Pioneer up to the edge of the tree so we can just engage stuff when it gets close without it being too close. Uh, I'm probably going to bring in my Commandant to the town. And then we'll have an artillery leader move up uh, with a couple units of infantry. Just hold that. Then I'm going to bring in some Rokotsi. I can push onto that hill for the time being. Oops, didn't mean to move those. My little motorcycle there. I might get targeted, actually. <laughs> it might get targeted by an aircraft. Could get killed by the Maxims. I've got to be a little bit careful with that. I should bring in uh, some more machine guns here, I think. They are going to push in that direction. Let's get my artillery in. I'm gonna see if they actually attack it. Oh, here comes the P40. I think this uh, Moto Miraliera is actually gonna run out of ammo before it even does anything substantial. <laughs> We're bringing the Karash here as well. Get these up the hill. These Rokutsi really aren't that good. Uh, this isn't good though. They must have shot something. Otherwise they wouldn't get targeted. Yeah, just bringing these in so that I can start hitting the uh, the Zis threes. That might die from that bombing strike. Yeah, it already been bombed once, and the payload of these P40s is pretty nasty. 
Mm, coming in for my ZB. Yep. Uh, there's just nothing I can do about that. Moskaya Avtos. Ouch. Alright, so I move away there. Those are 12 man squads with Thompson SMGs, which have the highest DPS of any SMG in the game. So, yeah, we want to stay away from them as much as we can. <laughs> Getting to heavy cover here, so if they get close, we can just mow them down before they get in range. Gonna bring some more ZBs in. I might just get bombed, but there we go. Nice. Kill those. Take them out, boys. Gotta love it when the recruits are annihilating Moscow Avtos until they get bombed. <laughs> Oh god, my Hotchkiss just got melted as well. Great, good stuff. Let's get these unloaded. Start some counter battery. I really don't have any other AA, do I? That's pretty rough. And maybe I could just bring in like these hearts just to be bait for any aircraft. And they can kill those first before the 150s. The 150s are much more useful. My Kalash here, nearly out of ammunition there. Oh, goodbye, ZB. Alright, seven minutes until phase B. Had a little bit of a lag spike there. Unload these, get them into cover. There we go. So I need to hold on to this flag to give them a total defeat, technically. But I don't really need to hold it like in the grand scheme of things. Because like, they'll still be disorganized with a major defeat. They're gonna bomb those Rakutsi. If they bomb Rakutsi, I actually don't mind that much. Especially if they bomb them and they don't actually kill them. Ooh, we shot down the Spitfire. Nice. Big kill. Like that a lot. Got a lot of MGs here. He's Moskaya. I'm not having a good time. Let's get these unloaded. Gonna start targeting these as three over here at some point. I see it firing. It's moved into phase B. This one will get arted soon. We might shoot down that one as well. Not quite. 
I'm just gonna have this uh, B4 back. Try and keep it alive. Oh, another ZB dead there. And another one dead there. Annoying. It's kind of frustrating when you just can't do anything about it. They have so many aircraft in this campaign, it's kind of ridiculous. At least this 37 is not dying. That bunker there is holding ground for us quite nicely. We should be able to bring in like more Kalash here, so I'm going to do that. Maybe some more ZBs. Just to replace the ones that we've lost. Okay, let's get the rest of my artillery and it doesn't look like they are actually targeting it, so I'm gonna bring in the rest. And as I do, the bombers will fly all the way across the map and attack them. <laughs> okay, another ZB down there. That was just a closer range engagement. Okay with them wasting bombing strikes, that's absolutely fine by me. Two minutes left. Probably won't even get this artillery set up. Uh, the bad thing about using Rokotsi in trenches is obviously because they are disheartened, they fall back when they're pinned down, which is really bad. Just about got them unloaded in time. That was close. It seems like we've just about pulled this off. Just start arting these a little bit. Just uh, get a few extra shots in there. That trench system actually worked out quite nicely. Just being able to like move from one side to the other there to counter the concentration of forces. Oh, please hit. Please hit these supply trucks while they're next to infantry. That would be insane. Doesn't like we're going to be able to get many kills there. All right. Well, major victory. I'll take it. 15 minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, we did lose quite a few ZBs. Those were bombed by the P40s. 
I think some of them might we might not actually lose because if like they were deployed at the start, they weren't in transports, so we'll hold on to them for now. That was a solid defense. And we shot down a Spitfire for good measure. So can't really complain. Especially considering we had like two AA pieces. <laughs> but concentrating them, making them three star there is literally the only way that that's going to work. I think the only thing that I'm kind of worried about in this campaign is not necessarily like the defense of the right side. It's more how I'm going to push into this objective <laughs> and take back that. That would be <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Like getting across this uh, bridge is going to be pretty rough. I'm going to have to build up some artillery and uh, make some serious attacks. I'm actually moving some units away. Oh, they move one back in the way. We managed to disorganize a lot of these attacking forces, which is great. But I don't know if I can afford to actually kill them. I could probably take out a couple of these, or at least one of them. I could probably take out this one. That would bring in the AT regiment there. Maybe if I can, like, arty that or something, I don't know. We'll see. Now, sometimes you guys, like, ask me to you know, speed this up. I guess we could. I kind of like to pay attention to exactly where the units are, though. So, like, in this case, like, being able to see them coming through. But I guess it's not too bad if I speed it up. Definitely gets the turns over with faster, especially when there's so much going on. And there's so many units for the AI to, to actually move. There's a bunch of units pushing right in over here. I might be able to just hit them straight up. I don't think I can afford to counterattack on this side though. As much as I would love to be able to go and attack this. Yeah, we can't do that. All right. Well, that could reinforce in phase A before, couldn't it? I think this can actually phase A reinforce now because that's why it's being pulled forwards. We're going to have to get some more troops over here. So these security regiments might want to just push up from the coast. Obviously, the reason that they are on the coast is to prevent from naval invasions, but for the sake of this campaign... I think we know that they're attacking here now, so we can probably pull them up. Um, same deal here. Going to start moving a couple of these across. I didn't realize that this battalion movement speed actually affected your own units as well. Yeah, I guess it's probably pretty useful. Uh, we can We can do that from now on. Yeah, that's fine. So I could, in theory, bombard these and then attack one of these. That would be cheeky. What is this? This is the 176th Guards Rifle Regiment. So I believe this is the unit that was at the back here initially. Making some attacks here and there is going to be pretty important just so that I can break them down and I don't have to be worried about defending again. But it's just like where to start. This campaign's so big. <laughs> um, there is the ooh, check this out. Panzer fours on the way. Two star Panzer fours as well, with seven two star Hummels and twelve, actually sixteen two star Vespers. That's pretty nuts. I like that. That's cool. We should also probably have a look at what reinforcements we got coming in. So there's a 10th Infanterie, which are... 
part of the third army that's the third army hq there's the independent battalion which is rakritsi Inno battalion which is detsunutsi and then the third armor group ah yes Unatorol de Cali and the Takams there. I love those. Some premium armor, if I've ever seen it. Got the 23rd Regiment. Looks like these are just all Infanterist, I assume. Yep. More Infanterist. There's a recon group there. Recon groups are actually really good for the Romanians because they have really good sniper infantry, like the Kalarashi. Really, really nice. And there's also the 10th Infantry, which comes with the T-38s. Okay, cool. And some Reshitsa. Not sure we're going to need Reshitsa that much. It depends where their armor is. This is going to be awkward to defend. The way that these are set up is kind of weird. We're going to have to destroy these units. I'm probably going to attack the 107th Guards Rifle Regiment and push them back. We've got quite a lot of units around here, so we should be able to do something there. Hmm. All right, let's work on this. So I'm probably going to attack the 1292nd. That leaves us furthest away from... The other units. If they use these to reinforce, which they probably will, can probably just smash them early. But we don't really have that many troops to push on them. I think this one's a lot more healthy. Maybe it's worth doing that attack first. Like, losing the line up here doesn't matter that much. I'm kind of tempted to attack with this unit. With this and reinforce. That will reinforce with these and probably some aircraft will come in. But it won't really matter that much because the, their forces, like, aren't that strong. It is risky, but uh, it could definitely work. Tactical battle. Okay, they didn't reinforce. That's fine. That's actually good. Mm, is it though? I'm not sure actually. I'm going to move this back. There's out of range to be attacked by these guys. I don't know if I want to move these. I'm hoping that that has to attack these guys. If they can attack through here, that would be kind of awkward. Just move those up. Oh, we do have some Stugs here as well. Defending this point is super important. I'm making sure that I've got these in the right position is also important. I'm probably going to try and push out a little bit here. But having every single one of these units backed up by another unit is really important so that they can't overwhelm us. But we've already kind of crushed this little area. This this We can clear up this pocket. And then we can try and move around the back. They are going to still have more stuff coming in. These units are actually going to be really, really hard to deal with in the hands of the AI. They're going to really suck. Like the airborne units with the two-star Desarniki. They will just charge at us and like never end in, never endingly, and it'll just be really, really rough. I want to attack here, but I don't know if I'm able to. Like getting across the river would be pretty good for us right now. It would leave us in range of the 1,310th Rifle Regiment, though. And they're actually digging in. Damn, okay. Well, I wish I could uh, get my artillery onto the AAA there. 
Because if I could, then we could stop them from setting up. And if I can stop them from setting up, then I can definitely make good use of aircraft. Um, speaking of which, I should probably have a look at my aircraft. Currently have the 14th Recon Group and the 77th Fighter Wing available. I probably do want to bring in the Fighter Wing. There's also a close support wing soon, which is good. That comes in... PM of the 20th, so next turn we get access to those. There's some more. These are, are these are all Fokker Wolves? There's some JU-87s as well. And then the Bomber Wing is HE-111s, okay. How much does my other reinforcements cost? I don't think we actually have access to any other reinforcements at the moment, so I'm definitely just going to grab both of these, I think, so that we have them to reinforce us. Cool. Let's see. So, <clears throat> making an attack here is probably the next best bet. And doing it with... Actually, attacking here and using both could be a good idea. Just to make sure that we like destroy the 1290th Rifle Regiment. And then, uh, if these guys reinforce... I don't know. But if we do this attack, then that might push them down. And then this unit can also get a kill. And killing two Rifle Regiments would be better than killing one. Honestly, if I do this and then bring in some aircraft like the fighters I just purchased or even just the fighter group and we have the IARs hanging about, that could be a good idea. Then again, the reason that I wouldn't want to do that is because of um, the enemy... Turn, well, basically on the opposing turn they're going to use aircraft then, and that's when I'm probably going to want to use my own aircraft to back up any loose areas. Oh, it's, this is this is tough going. Like, I'm not really sure how I want to go about this. I think if I bring in the Phase B infantry here, maybe even, like, Phase C infantry, then at least we can still win, regardless. Because I don't have any other ground forces other than the AT Regiment to back them up with. We're going to do that. That will probably make them bring in aircraft. Uh, this turn, and then we... I don't know if we have to worry about them next turn if we do that. we got the 160th Gun Brigade coming in behind the 1,000... Oh, okay, so it wasn't actually aircraft, it was in fact artillery that's engaging across the river. Alright. Well, that's not too bad for us, honestly. We really don't have that much infantry, though. <laughs> we don't want to get caught out in the open here, that would be really bad. I'm actually going to have to be pretty cautious with how we approach this. Make sure that I utilise cover well, otherwise we are... Pretty screwed. I guess in phase B would be fine, but... If I let this go phase B, then I'm probably just bad, so... <laughs> there we go. Alright, uh, let's just do this. And I'm tempted to have, like, go and fill with them, but there might be just be a liability. I'm not sure. I'm going to have some pioneers come in. I'm going to try and unload them to the far right. I'll have these to try and keep pushing. Have a recon motorcycle go ahead here. Since we're pushing quite far up. Like how to make the most out of a very damaged unit. <laughs> Let's just speed things up quick.
I am worried they just like unload on this road and just snipe us. That'd be the way to get the most value out of that unit, would just be for the AI to just unload and snipe shit. But hopefully, won't happen. Okay, now I can bring in the Grenfjörer. Uh, looks like these are making good ground. Uh, that might have like a decent unit in it. <laughs> Would be unfortunate for my motorcycle. I managed to pin down both of those. That's awkward. Get my IG in here. That's going to be a Maxim squad, I think. I don't know who's going to win that. Like We have two star pioneers, but that's an MG. I've got to kill it before it pins us, I think. The only way. Yeah. Okay, let's keep the push going on the right hand side here at least. And I'll just move this over. We are 17 to 7. I'm kind of tempted to bring in a pack 40 up here. Okay, the IG can clear that up for us. Bring in a pack 40 up this road as well. Get some of these mortars in. If I come to the edge here, I should be able to kill the Maxim, and then we can hopefully push the front line back over the Pioneers to capture that flag. I might have to have them, like, run back to the edge. Ideally, we do want a total victory. I'm not sure if that will actually kill off the AT unit though, because it wasn't the primary attack. Like the primary target of the attack. I'm going to put this on fire at well so it just fires at whatever it can see. I might do the same here with this one. We're going to catch the front line on that left side. Move up here and try and kill this Dushka. Although the Pack 40 might be able to do that. We should be able to do it. Oh, 
Ooh, I let my pack fully get killed there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, this range, will the Grenadiers win? They are technically in light cover whilst the Maxim's not. I think we'll be fine in that engagement. They won't fire it well as well. Are we getting close to total victory? Four minutes left. Uh, start pushing these up. Pull those back again. Unload those next to the mortars so they can do their thing. Two minutes until phase B. Don't think we're going to make it to phase B, which is fine. Alright, let's just kill off this Maxim if we can. Get the HE grenade down on that. That should be job done. Great. Throw down some smoke. Thirty seconds left. I think I'll just speed things up. And that's it. Nine minutes. Job done. We lost that one poor pack forty. That was a big loss, actually. Probably shouldn't have lost that. My bad. Oh well, that's going to be that unit completely destroyed. Oh, nice and perfect as well. Oh, yes, that was very nice. Now we can do this. <clears throat> oh, yes, that was perfect. All right. Well, we just absolutely crushed uh, their left flank of this center attack. So I'm happy with that. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We will continue our turn in the next episode and see about moving the rest of these units. There's so many to move. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.